Hello, my name is Blair and welcome to another OS. Today, we're gonna take a look into a little bit harder and at the same time a little bit advanced type of Linux OS or operating system. What I'm trying to say is we'll try to see for the first time the OS, Arch Linux. So basically, Arch Linux is one of the hardest to install but there is some a little bit like a developer that helps you with the GUI or the graphic user interface type of installer that is available throughout the web. It is called the Arch Linux GUI.in, which is from I think from Indonesia or from India. So uh, let's take a look into this operating system as we try to install this one. This is for the much advanced user. Even though this is a graphic user interface installer, we still have some a uh, little bit like knowledgeable to upgrade, install, and sometimes we try to make it better for the operating system. So we'll try to see this as our first look into Arch Linux as the GUI or the graphic user interface. We will try to see this in the KDE Plasma desktop environment compared to the others because I think this is much more easier compared to the i3. i3 is a little bit like uh, not popular so it's really uh, need to have an advanced knowledge on this Arch Linux OS. Let's go to the virtual box that I have. So let's use this one instead of Fedora. Let's change to Arch Linux GUI Plasma and start the computer. Switch to full screen. It's supposed to be hiding so that you could auto hide. That's much better. <laughs> so let's go to our installer. So we are trying to install in a graphic user interface in instead of like great knowledge to install into this uh, Linux distro which is a little bit hard. We will not use the arch way. <laughs> this is for the first time user so this is gonna be a, a first look for them. So let's wait. So we are now in our desktop which is Plasma and it indicates it's around 6 in the morning. So let's try to adjust the time first into a correct time then the display. So I think the time zone is not correct. So let's try to go to the city of Bangkok which is I'm still here in Thailand let's apply that one so we have the correct time already but we still have some few issues right here which is the display uh, let me see go to the display settings the virtual box that I have is 800 by 600 so let's try to let's go for full HD 180 I think that is much better so we are now into our correct uh, display settings which is 1080 so let's try to see if what we could find right here as the terminal. Let's open the terminal and let's see what is our arch could throw. Let's try to see the NeoFetch if there is a NeoFetch. Yes, there is a NeoFetch. 
this is the Arch Linux that we have in our VirtualBox, which is I'm using the VirtualBox 1.2 and this is the os of arch linux kde plasma with the plasma 5.25.3 which is a little bit like lower compared to my uh kde plasma neon which is the 5.27 point something i think 0.5 already theme is actually the dark circle and it is plasma the icon is also plasma tele circle dark and the console that i'm using is the kde console with the letter k uh huh and of course you can see my cpu is one or 11th generation intel i5 and the gpu is still svga2 vmware and i gave this only an eight gigabytes of memory or virtual or virtual box memory the physical memory so let's try to see what is my system so as you can see this is kde my system is there you have it the frameware is 5.96 and the plasma version is 5.25.3 as i said just a while ago and it is in x11 uh windowing and i have only one one core i didn't realize i just gave it one core but it's already okay because this is gonna be uh lightweight and at the same time it's linux so it doesn't need to have a very very strong uh, uh, uh core requirement compared to the windows <laughs> so yeah we could like uh see this you know in a default or pre-installed so let's try to see oh yeah i'll try to look into this from their website which is arch linux gui dot in i think this is india so this is the website they have uh, and it is basically uh, the information that they have is Arca Linux GUI was a fast on the flying graphic installer interface for the installer of Arch Linux and they have the Plasma Edition, the Genome uh fxce the cinnamon edition and the window manager edition they have the testimonies and their galleries too so they have this uh information to oh by the way uh the uh, window manager edition is the i3 so this is gonna be the one of the lightest but i think this is a little bit like harder for the newcomer so that is why so you have the to choose which one so i rather use the kde plasma which is the uh, gui not the pure uh, kde plasma desktop environment but the uh, themed plasma arch linux so let's try to see uh, which one uh, is a little bit like I think I gave this a 50 yes I gave the uh, virtual box only 50 uh, gigabytes of internal memory so I'm trying to to help you guys with this one instead of like the old application I'll just use the per folder compared to the old application Let's click this one, learn more for the two editions of Thim and Pure KDE Plasma Desktop Environment for the Arch Linux. So the Plasma or KDE Plasma Thim Edition for the Arch is the flagship of the Arch Linux GUI that helps you like vanilla uh, Arch Linux with the KDE Plasma in desktop environment. It is pre-configured already and ready to use 
which is a little bit okay, which is uh, helping you to understand Arch, but I think it is much better to uh, to learn more about the Arch way compared to the the GUI because it is a close knit type of Linux which is more on on how to the Arch way on how to make your Linux in a customized way and at the same time it will help you learn more about Linux as a developer so in the pre-installed right here we have some feature like the NVIDIA GPU support uh, system wide dark theme including the web browser office suit with MS fonts printing services like the cups or the CUPS the Bluetooth with Blue Devil and at the same time the media player simple desktop display manager and the AUR helper for the the plasma pure edition of the Arch Linux GUI helps you install vanilla Arch Linux with stock plasma desktop environment it contains all the software with the plasma group by default or pre-installed this is what user gets after installing the plasma desktop environment after the cli installation and the additional software includes the kate which is the text editor console with the letter k which is the uh, terminal dolphin the file manager and the spectacle or should i say the screen capture tool so you have that option and of course we will just focusing on the plasma themed edition of the arch linux gui which is a little bit like this is their flagship and more on like an easy way so let's go to our desktop right now which is in our virtual box which is the arch linux gui so let's go to the application so instead of like using the all application i'll be using the pre folder so that we you will have the information at hand which is you needed to for your desktop application for example this development folder we have the cute fish which is the icon viewer the kate which is the text editor plasma uh, engine explorer which is the viewing tool plasma theme plasma theme explorer we have the qt the qt assistant designer and so and so forth we also have the education only with the LibreOffice math in the graphics we have the ocular for the document viewer libri office draw which for the drawing which uh, I think this is the oh yeah the publisher for the Microsoft counterpart and the Gwen viewer for your image viewer for the internet we only have the Firefox and the FTP for file transfer for the multimedia we have the vlc the very popular vlc media player which is even in windows it is very popular plus the qt capture utilities and test at the same time on the uh, multimedia folder for the for the office we have the LibreOffice office suit including the writer math uh, presentation drawing calc and base so the basis for the database calc for the spreadsheet drawing for the publisher uh, impressed for the slideshow presentation for the math is for the formulas and uh, writer for your word processor for settings we only have the settings for Nvidia and your system your system has a lot right here we have discover which is the 
software center or the app center the dolphin your file manager info center arch installer console for your terminal system monitor and menu editor for utilities we have arc which is the archiving tool the emoji selector file light which is the dist usage statistics analyzer and the k calx which is our scientific calculator kate of course it is the text editor uh, software tokens and spectacle as i said uh, as it is also a utility which is screen capture utility so let's try to see what we could find aside from uh, from the Arch Linux uh, uh, menu, let's right click these and then try to look into this. We could change the mode of like your launcher if you want to more on to customization. You can change your your Arch Linux icon for your plasma right here. As you can see, you can use any of your icons. So you have so many to choose from. And at the same time, you can also make your own. For example, you have to like uh, change it into your own preference. For example, I want to have like crazier, a security yes icon. So I could click like that one. See, it's so simple and then of course go back to your original let's look for the arch see there you have it let's return to the arch logo and at the same time if you want to install different types you can also uh, search for this one so that you can change whatever you want right here and the get plugins right here if there's a new some plugins right there so let's close this one. Let's uh, try to click open. Let's try to see what can we find on this uh, uh, wallpaper. So let's try, try to click right click on the desktop. We have a little bit like more desktop uh, wallpaper. This is the plasma wallpaper. So you have a lot. I think I like this one. It is the real wood, which try to look into. Yes, I love that one. So I think uh, I better use that one. How about the icons? Yes, it's already okay. About yep, that's already okay. So do you want? Do you like this one? For me, it's already okay. It's awesome. So let's try to see what can we find aside from this one. So we have some software. Uh, let me see. Let's go to the software which is the discover I think it's on the system yeah system thing so the discover has a lot of software to choose from we have this one uh, oh my gosh I have 70 or 793 updates so we have the future right here which is a little bit like the editor's uh, choice you have these card games the paint uh, programs the g comprise the Caden live k star which is the planetarium which is i really like using this one so you have a lot of of software to choose from right there as you can see if you are looking for something like you want to have so just click right here for example I'm looking for a 3d uh, animator creators suit which is free and open source we have the blender which is most of our cartoon and movies like the Shrek the avatar I think so many movies that we have are created by Linux if not from Linux that movie won't be a blockbuster because they have to pay a lot more but 
in Linux, pretty sure you have a lot of of software that you could use as a free and open source and you don't have to pay anything. So that is why Blender is one of the best uh, graphics that you could use as a Linux user. Yeah, I think there's so many mm, videos. Maybe next time I'll make the video uh, talking about uh, graphic 3D creation or 3D uh, software suit. So we have the audio video, which is our simple screen recorder, Celeroid. Of course, I am using OBS most of the time. And of course, Caden Live. And uh, the free but not open source, we have the Block Magic, which is DaVinci Resolve. For science, we have a lot of software to choose from. Of course, way back then when I'm still with the disaster management and risk reduction uh, mitigation agency, we use actually the QGs and yes in the government we use free and open source software and it is really helping the government especially if you are uh, making some maps like for the google and for your office the qgs will be one of the best uh, for your editing and creating the geographic information system let me see Astronomy, we have the K stars, which is the planetarium. I really like this one, especially one of the uh, alternative software is or apps, which is Stellarium. So let's try to see how many. Wow, I have a lot of. It's 1.9, which is around 2 gigabytes of update. This is really, really, really long so i i will not uh, install that one because i only have to show you guys uh, the desktop default of the arch linux gui which is the plasma as for their uh, flagship so it's just basically getting like only point 1.6 physical memory plus the this is just only like how many yeah okay i gave this a 50 gigabytes of hard disk plus the uh, iso which is around like 8 gigabytes and the cpu is just only one which is already okay it has a little bit like uh, 13 up to 13 but not too much it is already okay conclusion for this arch linux gui i think it is much better for the newcomer not to get into arch but i recommend you to start like the gui first to know how arch linux uh, atmosphere before you jump into the real arch linux for the advanced user yes uh, this is much easier I think this is the expert level, especially if you are using the Arch Linux i3. It is much uh, harder and I think you need to learn more and read more about the wiki or the encyclopedia first before you jump into the Arch Linux desktop. So anyway, that's it for now for your operating system. I'm Blair giving a glimpse to what is the arch linux is all about with the gui desktop <laughs> and yeah i'll catch you in the next episode thanks for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you want to and please let me know what you're thinking about what is your your experience in arch how do you install it? Do you use the GUI, the graphic user interface, or you have to like the arch way? Let me know your comments down below. I am Blair saying bye for now and see you in the next episode. And remember that science means knowing. That's why science is cool. Ciao.